Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we've got a 2020 Chrysler Pacifica, and we've been test fitting some hitch mounted accessories on it, and right now we have the Thule Camber bike rack uh, installed and loaded up with a bike. So let's go over some features of it, show you how it interacts with your Pacifica. Now this is a hanging style bike rack, so you're going to be able to get four bikes loaded onto it. It's going to hold your bikes by the top tubes, and it's just going to be a really nice way to get your bikes to and from the destination. Uh, what's nice about this hanging style bike rack is that there's actually a very good amount of spacing between the cradles right here. It's a lot more than you would see with other hanging style racks, like maybe the Thule Hitching Post Pro, which is another product we carry here at eTrailer. So this is a nice way to make sure your bikes don't make a lot of contact with each other, don't swing up and hit each other too often, and just overall stay in better condition. Now the bike that we have installed right now, uh, you can see we got three straps securing it. We got two straps on our top tube right here, making sure that it's secure into the top cradles right there. And then we have a third strap that's on the seat post tube that's actually with the anti-sway cradle. What that's doing is preventing the bike from swaying too much back and forth. You can see I'm shaking it pretty hard. It's moving, but not near as much as it would without. So let's go ahead and take that strap off and show you guys. Without that cradle and strap, I'll shake it just as hard. You see it's moving a lot more. Uh, so that could cause your bike to swing up, hit your other bikes and damage them. Maybe even in some extreme cases, it could swing up and make contact with your vehicle depending on the bike you have. So that anti-sway cradle is a really nice touch by them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unload it the rest of the way. Straps are kind of a ratcheting style where once you put it in there, you just pull to secure it, just like that. Nice and easy to work with. Now we can just unload the bike. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, you are gonna have added length to your vehicle. And in the case of our Pacifica and our Thule Camber, with these arms folded up, you can see we got a good amount of length on there. So let's go ahead and give you guys a measurement real quick. From the bumper to the outermost point, it's gonna be a rough measurement from the bumper. So if I bring my hand down. It's about 42 inches. You could give or take an inch just because of the um, weirdness I had with trying to get that measurement. But that's a good amount of length added on. And if you have a bike installed, it could be a little bit more depending on the bike. Now, when this bike rack's empty and you don't want to take your bike rack out of the hitch, what you can do is actually fold these arms down by pulling up on this latch. Arms come right down. You can see right there, a ton of space taken away. Now we're going from that rough 42 inch measurement down to 10 and three quarters of an inch. So we took away a lot of space. This is something you wanna keep in mind for close quarter situations, like maybe parking in your garage. Definitely would be a nice touch to be able to pull in your garage and shut your garage door without worrying about removing your bike rack. Now I do wanna give you guys a ground clearance measurement while I'm at it. This does sit pretty low to the ground. At the lowest point, it's about eight and three quarters of an inch, so pretty close to the ground. However, we are sitting pretty close to the hitch at that point and the rear axle, so unless you have a pretty aggressive driveway, you shouldn't have to worry about bottoming, bottoming out. Now, in some cases where maybe you've gone around town, you've got some stuff in the trunk that you need to get out, or maybe even some biking equipment, well, what we can do is tilt this away from the Pacifica to gain access to the trunk. Keep in mind that as I do this, it is definitely advised not to tilt it away with any bikes installed. So unload your bikes first and then tilt it away. From here, we got plenty of access to our trunk to grab, you know, groceries, luggage, any biking equipment that we might need for the trip. And now when tilting it back up, obviously make sure that the hatch closes all the way. We'll just bring it back up until you hear it lock into place right there. Now let's come down and see how it attaches to our hitch. With this uh, Pacifica, we do have a two inch by two inch hitch receiver. What's nice about this bike rack is that, you see we got a sleeve on the end of the shank, making sure that it's compatible with that two inch receiver. But if you got another vehicle in your household, which has an inch and a quarter receiver, you can remove that sleeve and that shank will fit in those inch and a quarter hitches. So it'll work for multiple vehicles. So you're not limited to just your Chrysler. We do have an anti-rattle bolt that is tightened down. What that's doing is taking away the shake and play 
all that rattling that you might experience inside the hitch is gone. So you're not going to hear it while you're driving. You're not going to see your bikes moving around a lot. Well, everyone, that's just going to about do it for our test fit of the Thule Camber 4 bike rack on our 2020 Chrysler Pacifica. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.